This is the upcoming podcast with your host, Zach Collins. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is the upcoming podcast. So many of you know, if you tuned into the first episode, this isn't just a boring podcast where we talk about just sports. No, I mean, we're here to talk about the athletes themselves, have a little bit of fun, trivia, some sports thrown in there because, well, it is a sports podcast. So let's get to our podcast here today. So I'll introduce today's upcoming athletes. I'll actually have them introduce themselves here today. So, I mean, we'll go left to right, right to left, middle to right. I don't care. <laughs> I'm Whitney Pernock. Um, I'm going to be a senior at Crystal High School. Hi, I'm Carolyn Garcia. I'm going to be a senior and I go to Bristol. I'm Lindsay Kaiser. I'm a senior and I can go to Bristol too. So thank you guys for joining me. If you don't know, we're recording this on a Sunday. So they've offered to come and do this on a Sunday, which is awesome in itself because, I mean, getting any high schooler up on a Sunday morning is probably the hardest thing. When I was in high school, I never got up on Sunday till like noon. So thank you for getting up early this morning. I really do appreciate it. But first off, we're going to start with a little bit of trivia. So trivia is just random stuff so this week we've kind of chosen some movies some tv shows sports questions volleyball questions and just one random one that i kind of threw in there to see maybe you guys know i don't know so (laughs) they'll have a minute per question it's kind of different than last week's because it was just one person this week it's three people so they're kind of gonna go together convene with each other and see how it goes so are you guys ready for some trivia yeah perfect so this one's a movie question and you actually have options for it. So we start off with a little bit easier question. So which actor was in the following movies? So there's The Outsiders, Wayne's World, and Tommy Boy. Your choices are Tom Cruise, Matt Dillon, Rob Lowe, or Thomas Howell. So you got one minute. I don't even know who that is. So you got one minute. Um. (laughs) wait what were the actors again so you got tom cruise matt dillon rob lowe and thomas howell (laughs) matt dillon Matt Dillon's your final answer? Yeah. <laughs> it's actually Rob Lowe. So if you know the guy who's in like the random commercials on TV, yeah, it's that guy. I don't know. I think he's like Atkins commercials or something now. I really don't know. That's the only way I know who he is. So we'll move to a more recent kind of question. This is with Stranger Things. How many years did it take to film season four of Stranger Things? (laughs) Four years for season four. Is that your final answer? Wait, hold up. Hold up. Two years. Two years. Two years. Two years. Final answer. Yeah. Hey, you got it. All right. We're one of two. Two years. It almost took three. So good job on that question. So this one actually needs a little bit of context. How many of you have seen the latest Scream movie or a Scream movie in your lifetime? Any of you? You have? Okay. Okay, so Carolina's seen a Scream movie. So what was the Scream movie originally supposed to be called? It kind of references this in the movie in just about every single one. Dad? Kind of. But there's another one they call it in the second movie. They don't reference it as Stab. They do at parts, but there's another one that they reference. And there's a, how about this? There's a hint. There's a parody movie that is based off the Scream movies. 
I know that one, but I just took a step. Yeah, that's it. I don't even know. <laughs> because the girl runs through the water. I need to Oh. <laughs> um. Josh watches it. I don't know. <laughs> Final answers. I don't know. Dad 2.0. Stab 2.0. All right. Well, that's an interesting one for the first movie. They're going to call it 2.0, but we'll take it. Um, but unfortunately, that one's incorrect. So if you've ever seen any of the scary movie movies that are like parodies, oh there's like God, 12 of them or something. So it was originally supposed to be called Scary Movie in 1996. We knew that. Hey, I didn't know it either until I looked it up last night. So... This is testing your knowledge. My knowledge is just gone. So, if have any of you seen Ferris Bueller's Day Off, first off? No. No? no? Wow. All right. Well, we get to answer a little trivia about a movie you don't even know. So, in that specific movie, they visit the sites of Chicago. What professional stadium do Ferris and his friends visit? So, I'll give you, I'll give you choices. So, there's Soldier Field, there's Kaminsky Park, Wrigley Field, or Chicago Stadium. Yeah. One of these options did not exist in the timing that that movie was filmed, I believe. Chicago. Chicago Stadium? Final answer? Yeah. <laughs> it's Wrigley Field. They visit Wrigley oh. Field and they're watching the Cubs game. And in the movie, one of the teachers that they're skipping out class in sees them on TV at the Cubs game while they're skipping class. So if you want to see a fun movie, it's a good time. They crash a Ferrari in it too. So it's an older classic movie. Highly recommend you go see it. Do a team bonding activity and you just watch it. It's a good time. So currently we've got one question right out of four. We had last week we had Evan Alt and he got one out of eight. So if you can at least get if you can at least get one more, then you'll be in first place on the leaderboard. So that's a good thing. So this is we're gonna move to some volleyball based questions. Now this isn't just like how do you have your platform and stuff like that? This is kind of just factual stuff. So if you get around this number, I'll give it to you. How long was the world's longest recorded volleyball game? And hint, this was before the rule change where you had to be serving to score. Now you can just score whenever. Back then, you had to be able to serve the ball to be able to score. So how long do you think that game would have taken to finish. And hint, it's over, much over 10 hours. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. I heard three and thought, well, maybe we want to bump it up a bit. Like a lot of it. Eighteen. 18 hours? Final answer. Yeah. The match was 75 hours long. <laughs> they went over they went over almost 150 points each. Did they sleep? No. Yeah. <laughs> so it literally was the longest recorded volleyball game in history. It took place in like the 60s. So you know, if you ever get tired during your match of an hour and a half, and then you're thinking, man, at least I didn't have to play 75 hours. So you can at least think of that way. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So volleyball was introduced at the Atlanta Olympics for the first time in Olympic history. So this is a more recent question. None of us were born. But what year did the Atlanta Olympics take place? Obviously. <laughs> 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 
36. Yeah. You might want to go up 60 years. 1996 <laughs> is when it took place in Atlanta. Uh, volleyball was actually created in 1886 and wasn't first played collegiately till 1934. So you're close to the collegiate part. Yeah. But yeah, just a little off. It's fine because we got some questions left. And these aren't like crazy questions. Maybe one of them is because if you haven't seen Ferris Bueller, then you most likely haven't seen this movie at all. But we'll continue. So the next question is Outer Banks. Has anyone seen that show on Netflix? Yes. Okay. We're, we're there at least. So it's filmed in North Carolina, as you know. How many cameras do they use to film that show? Hint, it's under 10 at least. One camera. Wow. Okay. Let's hope that's not your final answer. Okay. Five. Five. Five cameras. Final answer. Yeah. Go one down. It's four. Oh, man. I know. I was hoping you'd just go, no, it's not my final answer, and then switch it. But, hey, we're fine. We still have one correct question, and there's three left. So this is a movie that no one's probably ever seen, and you, if you get this right, it will just, like, I will, like, literally give you a trophy. So the movie Raging Bull, which is a boxing movie, is based off what real-life boxer? Hint, he's Italian, and hint, his name starts with a J, if that even helps out at all. <laughs> John Cena. John Cena. Um... <laughs> okay, you, de- you definitely don't get a trophy. Um, wow. John Cena, the boxer. All right. I, you know, that's the first I've ever heard. I didn't realize professional wrestling had to do with boxing, too. But I'm glad that we had an answer. So his name is actually Jake LaMotta. That's a crazy movie. You never would have probably gotten it. I know. But, hey, we had to throw something in there. It's a hardball one. John Cena's a professional wrestler. Um... <laughs> entirely different sport i mean i guess it's still contact sport so we were close in the ball range all right so we're, we were close we have two more questions left you got one right okay so this is more of a technology question what year was the first ipod released you that. <laughs> <laughs> wow just put it right on the spot don't you no, because I had no, 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 definitely not that. Definitely. 2001. Yeah. 2001. 2001. Final answer. Mm-hmm. You're correct. <laughs> we got it. 2001. Yes. Now you're on the leaderboard. All right. You got two right. Sweet. <laughs> 2001, the first iPod was released, and in 2007, they made it a touchscreen. So, oh, we were, we 
You were close. You, I heard 2007 in there, so I was like, we're pretty close. So this is the last question. It's about popular country music artist Garth Brooks. Does anyone listen to Garth Brooks? Or at least country? Okay. So he actually attended Oklahoma University before becoming a professional singer and played what sport? Hint, it's not volleyball. Baseball. Baseball. Final answer. He was actually in track and field and he threw javelin. So if you've ever thrown javelin before, (laughs) probably haven't. I haven't either, but Hey, we got two out of 10. So congratulations. You're now on the leaderboard. So yeah, we'll have to probably choose easier questions the next time I do this with someone, but maybe (laughs) not, maybe not, but maybe not all year based questions. So this is actually your coach's question. So all three of you will answer this one specifically. She asks, how has being involved in athletics helped to impact the person that you are today? I guess like it like teaches so much like lessons and like I don't know like it impacts your life so much so I don't really know like how do you even like yeah no I get that I mean like just (laughs) kind of um how can I answer how can I ask this easier how will it impact you going into the future? So like you got college coming up eventually in the future, kind of how is volleyball going to, you know, kind of the aspects of it, the characteristics of it going to take you forward to that next level? Um, it helps with teamwork. In college, you're going to have a lot of teamwork. And just getting along with people because you're not always going to like everyone on the team, but you should act as a family and that's how you should like. I was going to say the same thing as her, like, <laughs> working with people you don't really get along with, like, meeting new people, too. Right. And that's those, like, pressure situations and, like, working through that type of stuff and, like, not just giving up when things get hard. And those pressure situations, they, they come along pretty frequently when you get in the real world, so trust me. Mm-hmm. Take them now because if you think that last serve that you have to make is a pressure situation... Try to get a thing in at like nine in the morning and you're half asleep. So trust me, <laughs> that's great. And I appreciate your answer. And I bet she does as well. So now we're going to move to a question about me. No one knows about me. I just moved here like a month ago. So no one knows a single thing about me. So this is kind of introducing things. So this is a random question to throw in here. What sports did I play? While I was in high school, and I'll give you a hint, it's three different sports. Okay, baseball. Okay, you got one. You have five selections. I forgot to mention that. So you got one. Track. Track is two. You have three more options. If you get this last one, I'll be impressed. (laughs) Soccer? Soccer's not one. Bowling. Bowling is not one. You have one more option. It can't be. (laughs) I don't even know what you're talking about, and I don't know if I want to know. It might hurt my feelings on the side, but hey, it's all right. Wait, what school did you go to? Can we have that hint? Um, I'm from Indiana. Oh, oh. So if you even know the town I live in, that'd be impressive. <laughs> is it a small town? It is a small town. Okay. I don't know what 
How small? <laughs> How small? Three thousand people. I had oh, wow. seventy people in my graduating class. <laughs> it's small for Indiana. Out here, I've realized it's not small. Swim. Swim? No. I can swim, but no, we did not have a pool, and no, we didn't have a swim team. Nor did we have a bowling team, nor did we have a golf team or tennis. So that's just down the line. Final answer, I played volleyball. We were... I know! The volleyball athletes can't get the volleyball one. So, no, we were too small to have football. We don't have eight-man football in Indiana. So if you were too small, you got volleyball. So we had a conference tradition since the 50s that we played volleyball. Who would have thought? Which brings us to our other question. What high school sport did I used to coach? Wait, no. Wasn't it tennis? Tennis I coached, but not at high school. So I'll give you that. Volleyball? It is volleyball. Yeah. <laughs> so I coached volleyball for three years at the high school level as a JV coach and varsity assistant. So if you ever have volleyball questions, I can answer them, even if you probably don't want my advice. All right, so that's those questions. Just throwing those out there. Not going to come up with new questions for next week. So congratulations. You at least got the one right. You got the bonus. So I'll give you the first one right, too. Why not? So we moved to some more questions about you guys. So we'll kind of just go down the line. So just tell me a little bit about yourselves and kind of what you want to do after high school. Um, high, after high school, I'm not planning on playing sports or anything, but I'm just planning on going to college. I want to do business, so just get in and move on. <laughs> the smart side of college. I, yeah. I only play volleyball, and I don't plan on doing it after high school, but I want to do a club in college, and I want to go to the University of Iowa do, to be a dentist or a dental hygienist. Okay. I don't plan on doing sports after. I'll go to college somewhere, but I don't know where or for what yet. Hey, that's fine. You got time. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know till March of my senior year, so it's perfectly fine. Trust me, you got time. Apply now, but don't make that decision yet. So, I mean, I guess what are you guys' other hobbies, other activities, other sports, even like favorite sports teams overall? Just kind of. Talk to me about that and maybe even why. Well, I play softball and I run track. So when I'm not doing volleyball, I'm pretty busy doing that. Otherwise, just hanging out with friends. And, yeah. What events wow. actually do you run in track? Sorry. Uh, everything. Everything. Okay. That's a good answer. Uh, mainly hurdles and 400. So, okay. Yeah. I won't interrupt you this time. I'm sorry. I was very curious. Uh, my hobby, I don't do any other sports. So I like swimming. I like boating and exploring. So. Awesome. Yeah. Where do you explore or boat? You gotta go on the cruise. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta explore the forest. All right. Just random forest. Cool. Yeah. Love that. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I won't embarrass I, anyone else. I'm sorry. <laughs> I do golf, um, like as my other sport, and then like I hang out with friends. And yeah, awesome. What's the best that you've golfed? I shot a 44 last season. <laughs> wow! All right, yeah. someone's kicking my tail. <laughs> I just hit in the woods and then just drop a ball and act like I didn't hit in the woods. So 
Good for you. I'm happy someone can at least golf in this. So I guess kind of more season based as we're getting towards the season, kind of what's been the focus during the summer practices. And even I heard you guys had a tournament. Just talk to me about how that went. It went good. We're just trying to like build a good culture and like we work together pretty well. Like we had a good AAU season. And we're just excited to like go out there. Yeah. You almost have to answer. You can just nod your head to go, yep, I liked what she said. <laughs> yeah. All right, perfect. And, I mean, I guess just looking ahead, who do you think your toughest opponent is really going to be and why? Well, I, guess... <laughs> I think our biggest player will be Fremont because they just work well together. And, yeah. Awesome. I guess, like, for you guys, too, like, what are you guys planning to have happen during the season? How do you expect it to go? Kind of what are your plans for it overall? How are you going to get the team together? Just little aspects like that. We're going to definitely take it a game at a time because we don't want to rush ourselves. Mm-hmm. But yeah. we yeah. definitely want to try to get core conference here since Grizzlies has never done that before. But that's our main goal. Awesome. No, I like that. That's awesome. So, I guess just this is a question from Evan. So we take questions from the last guest and put it to you. It could be literally about anything. It could be about your favorite color, what the room color is in his room. Like, I don't even care what it is. But he chose a very basic question. This is, what are you looking forward to next season? So I guess it would be this season. Yeah. I guess kind of a routine. Like playing with each other and seeing what we can do winning (laughs) that's a good aspect i like that answer (laughs) anything else on that question i know it's a very Uh, softball question close games close games are really fun to play they're fun to play but if you're coaching it it's not fun to coach because you're just standing (laughs) there like please dear god don't mess up um yeah (laughs) but yeah that's kind of the aspect of it so any final thoughts before we close things out here? No? All right. So you guys got two out of ten questions in trivia. So congratulations to that. You answered all the Zach questions. So those are all done. Um, now i got to come up with new ones. So you get, gave me more work to do this week. So I appreciate it. Um, so I guess thank you to you guys. Just say your, say your names again and just kind of what are you looking forward to overall coming into the next even school year? Um, my name is Whitney Pinnock, and I'm just looking forward to being with everyone and seeing what we can do. My name is Carol Garcia, and I'm just excited to be with my friends and enjoy my last year. I'm Lindsay Kaiser, and I'm looking forward to being with friends and making more memories. <laughs> Hey, that's awesome. I appreciate you guys coming and joining me here on the Sunday. And good luck this volleyball season. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. Yeah, so good luck. Thank you all for tuning into the upcoming podcast. We cannot wait to see you next week. Have a great one. This presentation of the upcoming podcast has been an exclusive presentation of Meredith Communications. Any use of this podcast without the express written consent of Meredith Communications is prohibited.